Good afternoon, Japan. Good afternoon, rest of the world. My name is Carl. I'm a Japanese entrepreneur who recently moved to Singapore at the end of December 2021. Today is February 1st. It's about the time that your motivation will start going down. And today, I'm going to talk about how you can keep the high motivation you set at the beginning of the year. Would you like to know how to do that? If so, let's get started. Okay, so today I'm gonna to talk about the motivation. You know what, and now it's February 1st. It's 30 days has been passed since the new year 2022 it has started. So it's about the time your motivation will start going down because your daily job or you know whatever your personal life, then every year when the, in the new year comes, I'm able to say, okay, this year I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna accomplish that. And then around February 1st, people are gonna like become like a zombie, right? So uh, today I'm gonna talk about how you can keep the high motivation you set in the beginning of the year and how you can keep going on throughout the year, you can connect to the result, okay? I'm actually the person who can keep the high motivation throughout the year. So I'm gonna share my experience, how I keep the high motivation throughout the year. Okay, so number one, so you have to be clear with the reason why you set the goal. You have to set the goal uh, in order to keep the high motivation. Without setting the goal, how can you stay motivated, right? Do you have your own goal? Can you say what is your goal, right? You have to first set your own goal and then uh, be clear what exactly you need to do to achieve that goal, right? You know, for example, like, you know, if you are doing the uh, online e-commerce setting, uh, maybe you can say, okay, I want to start making monthly, like say, $40,000 a month. I want to achieve that by end of the year. Now, you know, you have a clear goal that you want to make the sales of $40,000 a month. So in that case, uh, you can, you can kind of start breaking down. Okay. What is the average price product you want to sell on, on the internet? and then how many units you have to sell in order to make the $40,000 a month, you know, and then uh, what is the conversion rate so that you need, you need to list how many quantity the product in order to sell $40,000 kind of thing. So, you know, as soon as you set the clear goal, you can kind of break down into the daily routine and then, the, you know, you can kind of start, you know, working on it. So first of all, uh, please set your own specific goal and also break down into the uh, monthly and also the daily routine, you know? Second, and also make sure that the goal is somewhat achievable and also realistic. This way you can commit because, uh, you know, if your goal is just way high, basically, you, you might just say, I don't think I can achieve that, forget it. Uh, I cannot do that kind of thing. So make sure that your goal is somewhat achievable, you know, that that's kind of very important until, you know, you can maintain your own motivation by yourself. And then number three is set the daily routine and then commit about it. And then do not make any exception. So this is what I'm so good at it. So I have a lot of daily routine. First of all, I make sure I do a daily YouTube posting. I do daily TikTok passing. I send out two newsletters every day. And then I do uh, three sets of burpee. That's the exercise. And then the, I keep the 16 hours uh, fasting every day. So these are the things that I do on daily basis. And then, uh, you know, I don't make exception out of it. So for the ball, I have never skipped YouTube posting. I have never skipped a uh, newsletter. I have never skipped TikTok posting. So DAPI, you know, I do pretty much seven days a week, sometimes six days a week, but you know, I keep, sometimes keep the one day off, but that's okay. But anyway, the reason why I can continue this routine is because I don't make any, any exception. I keep them as a high priority of my uh, daily life. So I know I have a temptation to go lunch, uh, meet friends, or go drink, or you know just watch TV. I can do that, but before we do this kind of thing, I have to complete this my daily routine I set. 
So the reason why I can continue my daily routines is I keep them high uh, priority in my daily lifestyle. So that's the reason why. And do not make exception. Sometimes, you know, I might say, oh, okay, you know, I'm kind of busy today. I'm kind of tired. I kind of feel dizzy. Oh, I got to go out drinking with my friends. So, you know, maybe I can just, maybe I can just skip today, you know? Maybe I can start tomorrow. Mm -mm -mm. So if you do that, you're going to do all the time, basically. This is how the human mindset is so weak. Because if you approve one exception, you're gonna do again. Eh, maybe today I'm kind of busy too. So I do tomorrow, tomorrow, or do later, do later. That's the reason why I don't make any exception. No matter how busy I am, no matter how sick I am, I will do my daily routine. That's my commitment, okay? That's why I can continue my daily routine. And also, number four is find a mentor. Because, you know, I also have a mentor, right? So you have to find a person who you can trust and respect, you know, just listen to the advice and then you can probably, you know, keep the motivation. You know, people usually need someone who you want to look after and then they find a mentor and then they learn from them. So that's also important. Number five, do not listen to naysayer, okay? Do not listen to naysayer. You know, uh, in order to succeed in any category of in this world, I think it's only one or two percent be successful. Look at your around your people, you know, how many people around you actually became successful? Probably not so much, right? In my surrounding, I personally don't have, you know, much successful people. So why should I listen to them if they're not successful? So, you know, people say, ah, Kaz, you cannot do that. Or Kaz, I don't think you can achieve this goal. You know, I started making money. I was able to move to Singapore. I invest and start increasing my uh, capital. I can do that. You know, I always keep the can-do attitude. And it means, yes, I can, you know. Yes, I can. Instead of saying, ah, I'm not sure if I can do that. I have a strong mindset and I keep, yes, I can. So that's very important and do not listen to nothing else. I have a lot of now saying around me as well, I used to. I don't listen to them. So, you know, uh, the very important thing is do not let them break my motivation. I don't talk to them, I don't listen to them, I don't hang out with these now sayers. That's an insect, okay, that's an insect, okay? So the people who usually have a higher mindset, you know, my such customers or editors' customers, they all have high uh, motivation, they want to make money, they want to have a better life. These are the people that you should hang out and then you can stay in a very nice environment that you know, people want to you know, share for a for better thing. And you know, that, these are the people that you should hang out. So today I talk about how you can keep the motivation and that's very, very important. And now it's February 1st. Just trust me, it's about the time uh, most of people start losing the motivation. And I see that so many times, okay? So today I give you my tips and then the, I hope you will keep the motivation. And also make sure you subscribe to the channel because I post these kind of motivational video time to time. And then I try to encourage you to stay motivated, okay? Now uh, if you lose motivation, contact me. Maybe I can give you some advice. But you know, look at me, you know, I have already posted 800 videos on YouTube. I, can't, I haven't even made a penny on YouTube yet. Do I lose motivation? No. I don't care. I keep doing it, okay? So that's very important, you know, can do attitude and uh, go, go, go kind of mindset, okay? Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, uh, please thumbs up. And then uh, I hope you sign up to my uh, channel and make sure you click the notification bell so you're gonna receive the next uh, notification when I post the next new video. Also, please make sure you follow my Twitter because I'm talking about the life in Singapore and some other things. Anyway, I uh, thank you so much for your support and I truly appreciate your view. Because of the, my funds, uh, I can continue to uh, post my video. I truly appreciate that. Okay, so I see you guys in the next video. Bye.